everyone. Today we have a story called William Wakes Up and it's written by Linda Ashman and the pictures are by Chuck Groneck. And it's a story about preparing for this new season and the friends that it brings. On a quiet morning, sleepy and still, William looks out on a moss-covered hill. He hears a faint and distant tune and says, My friend will be here soon. It's been a long and wintry wait. We need a cake to celebrate. Wake up, it's spring, today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Rise and shine, no time to lose. One rolls out for others snooze. I'm up, I'm out, I'm wide awake. I'll help you bake a welcome cake. They stir, they whir, they mix and pour. The chipmunk conks out on the floor. There's way too much for us to do. We better wake the others too. Wake up, it's spring, today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Rise and shine, no time to lose. One rolls out, the others snooze. I cannot sleep a minute more. I'll gladly clean the kitchen floor. They bake, they scrub, they wipe and scrape. Says Porcupine, I'm out of shape. There's way too much for us to do. We'd better wake the others too. Wake up, it's spring. Today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Rise and shine, no time to lose. One rolls out to others snooze. A special guest arriving soon? I'll tidy up the living room. They dust, they shine, they fluff and buff till groundhog groans. I've had enough. There's way too much for us to do. We'd better wake the others too. Wake up, it's spring, today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Does one roll out? Oh yes, you bet. And the other, nope, not yet. Oh dear, says Bear, it seems I'm late. May I help you decorate? They frost, they squeeze, they paste and paint. Then Bear sits down. I'm feeling faint. There's way too much for us to do. Perhaps Raccoon can help us too. They gather round the rumply bed. Then Pat Raccoon's still dozy head. Hey, raccoon, pitch in, help out. They tug his tail, they nudge his snout. Raccoon just snores and burrows deep. But is he really sound asleep? Just outside, they hear some flapping, chirping, tweeting, tap, tap, tapping. Then a whistle loud and clear. William says, my friend is here. They throw the front door open wide. Welcome Bluebird, come inside. We baked a cake, it's just for you. But we might like a sliver too. Raccoon bolts up, did I hear cake? Don't start without me. I'm awake. 
hurt, says Chipmunk. That's not fair. He hasn't helped at all, said Bear. It isn't right. It isn't nice. He shouldn't get a single slice. Raccoon looks sad. He hangs his head. I'm sorry that I stayed in bed. I'd like to help now, if I could, and have some cake. It looks so good. Says William, there's more work to do. Bluebird needs a building crew. Oh yes, he's right. I do, Raccoon. My friends will be here very soon. We'll need new nests. No time to lose. Then I will help. I will not snooze. But first, says William, grab a plate. Right now, it's time to celebrate. Welcome friends. Welcome sun. Welcome springtime, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.